Come back guys, and today we're playing Bob Chris. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Good shadow. We're going to all the inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Let's run on stuff. Ooh, what's that?
Tom Slash. Interesting. I click. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Thank Black Mesa. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. My roof broken, bro. No, Barney's been pretty scarce about the parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online. Now. Oh, would you look at that? The sample Freeman was just sent down to the test chamber for work this morning. Yes, about that. <laughs> it looks like somebody here is going. What did someone do with that? <laughs> They're like, I guess Freeman finally did show up for work. Now someone noticed me lunch. I was like, the day's starting. Someone's starting. <laughs> yeah. Morning, I'm gonna screw up this guy's microwave casserole. 
Let's go. Let's go. What the hell? Morning, good luck, bud. Hold up. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never see the end of this. Just did. Yeah, you best make like an atom split. Cause uh, that was um, that was you know who's lunch. Man, cease and desist or some shit. <laughs> Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I'm going on. Did he fix the rain machine? I thought it was rain machine. Excuse me, minor emergency. Thank you. Don't count on it. Listen, if anything, I'm just going have to more explain to this to you one more time. If you have a question that isn't Hello. my problem, it's yours. If I have a question, it isn't my problem. Oh, contraire. It is still very much so <laughs> yours. So it's just broken. Do we yes. have a problem? Go right on through, sir. Doctor. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Materials. Yes, Gordon Freeman. It's a one toy bus machine. Okay, there we go. Did you catch that last clock? Mm -hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double. Not much. Hello, good evening. Oh, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample to the test chamber. We boosted the anti mass spectrometer to 105%. A bit of a oh, yes. gamble, really, but we needed the extra yes, resolution. Yes. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Okay, thank you. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Control room. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just. Oh! It's about to go critical. Yeah, I got the computer board. Yeah, okay, I didn't get anything for you. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Oh, I got the computer board. By Becquerel's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. I texted her twice. Mm -hmm. undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? 
Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Stay on the side of it. Hey. What's up with life, Rock? See, see, I'm doing a slip up one. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Okay. Testing, testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. I think that's a good idea to buy them up here. Yeah. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase rays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the readings will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. I don't know. Is it not to for you to know, except your computer and the frozen stuff, the refrigerator stuff. How was that? Galalong. You think that I think so the computer? And, and the frozen refrigerator. Oh, I know. I'm <laughs> sorry. 